Hello everyone and welcome to Flickering Myth TV. My name is EJ Marino and today we are diving into a brand new horror movie. I am talking about the British religious horror film Saint Maud. <laughs> going to be straight up with you, Saint Maud might be one of my favorite, if not my favorite movie of the year. This checks off so many boxes for what I enjoy. It's religious horror. It is female led. It's a female director. There's a lot to say. It's striking imagery. There is just so much in this film. When it ended, I was just like, can I have more? Like, please, may I have some more? Because this movie was just so intense, so well acted, so well thought out that I have to say thank you for making a movie like this in 2020. I thought this year would kind of, oh yay, I liked Invisible Man. I had fun with Birds of Prey. There's been some like The Five Bloods. There's been a lot of movies I enjoyed, but there hasn't been a movie that spoke to what I enjoy, my sensibilities as a horror fan, as a film lover, like Saint Maud. Director Rose Glass said, hello, I am here with a feature debut that is going to blow everyone out of the water. This comes from Studio Canal in the UK and in the States, this will be coming from A24 whenever A24 decides to release it. And I have to say, this is one of the best filmmaker debuts I've seen since another A24 film, Hereditary. This gives me so much of those elements where you see a young filmmaker with a vision, with something to say, with a lot to offer in the directing, the writing, in the way they set up a shot. Rose Glass says, I am here to say hello. I am here. I am now just going to be a badass director because this is this doesn't feel like a debut film. This feels like a, a director who knows exactly what they want to say. There's a lot of meaning behind so many shots. From the moment it begins, there is striking imagery that just like it tells you so much with just one singular shot in this film. And that's the type of filmmaking I really enjoy where you can say so much with so little. There's a lot of dialogue in this. There's a lot of things being said, a lot of stuff in this movie, but just those silent moments where we just see Maud's character just standing there reflecting and we feel so much in it. There is a lot in this film that I really enjoy, and I just have to give a round of applause to Rector Rose Glass for an amazing first film. Saint Maud follows the character of Maud as she goes to take care of somebody in hospice. She is a at-home care worker after having a pretty dark, shady background, and she meets Amanda, a new client that she wants to save. No, not save her life, but save her soul. She understands that she's dying, but she says, I can fix you. I am connected to the higher power above, or is it below? We will talk about that. Yeah, she's like, here, I'm here to help you. I want to save you. And sometimes people don't need to be saved. And sometimes, Maud, you're not the person to save them. That's what I, just the, the bare minimum of this plot, I love of Maude trying to save this person, trying to do the most that she can. And Amanda's character is like, okay, so what now? Like, I really enjoy their interactions. I could watch Amanda and Maude go at it all damn day. There's a connection between these two actresses that there's fire in the quiet moments when they're actually like getting along. It's great. But then the moments where there's like a fiery passion between them, it's even better. There's just so much to dive into with these two interactions. But then I love it when I just have the mod character by herself, just trying to like be a very pious human being, trying to be the best that she can to her Lord and savior. Maybe it's the dark Lord. Again, we will talk about that. I have theories about this film. But yeah, I just really, really enjoy what there is of this character and what she's trying to do. There, there, there's not a lot that we know about her. Her past is kind of implied. We get it in some flashbacks and I like that. This is just dropping us off into the middle of a story and we are watching from the middle to the end. We don't need the whole first act of all of this craziness. Just give us the juicy bits that we need and it is all here. So my big theory for this movie is I don't think St. Maud is talking to the Lord, Jesus Christ, God, whatever you want to call it in this thing. I don't think she's connected with him. It feels like the devil is controlling her. I don't know if that's what the filmmaker is intending or if that's just me and my dark reading of this, but I was just like, I don't think she's talking to the Lord. He is telling her to do some crazy stuff, 
which in religion there is always those martyrs. There's always those people who do the absolute most to feel pious, to feel closer to their God. And that's what Maude is trying to do. But it just feels so dark and twisted. There's, you know, this could be a mentally ill person who is taking these like voices from God and misinterpreting them. Or it could actually be a, a demonic force, maybe Satan, telling her to do these things. That's where I was really sold, is there's never a definitive answer, which is going to piss some people off, which is so fun to dive into. I love movies that just let me interpret something. It's not trying to be like, here, I'm spoon feeding you all the info. Rose Glass said no. You will have your own interpretation of this, like we do with religion, which I find to be very interesting. There is a lot in here, and especially with the Maude character. She's a complex character. I love a film where our protagonist isn't necessarily the good person. She is the person we're following. She's our protagonist in the story, but she's not a good person. She's a complex, layered character that involves so much. The There's just the little moments where we get her backstory, where we start to see her melt down a little bit. Oh my goodness, her meltdown. There's a scene that legit like shocked me out of like my, like, oh, that happened just now so much in this movie that I just enjoy. Maude is to me 2020's cinematic anti-hero. Last year we had Joker as the protagonist that ugh, it's not that great to follow him. He's not that great of a person. Maude is very similar to that and that's what I really enjoy about this character. She's not just a clean cut character that we can just oh I love her I get her. No you love her sometimes you hate her sometimes and that's what I love about this film. This is one hell of a movie that has so much to offer so much to say. Again round of applause to the director round of applause to the actors this is the type of stuff I want to see in 2020. This could be the savior that we need. All right, guys, what did you guys think of my review of St. Maud? Let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe to Flickering Myth because we make videos like this every single week. And give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. All right, everyone, let's talk about St. Maud down below. <laughs>